All right, so this is my entry to the BitBuilt Summer Building Contest 2023. My project is called Pro Controller X or Pro Controller Cross. Uh, it is an attempt to cross a Wii U Pro Controller with a Switch Pro Controller uh, and cross the functionality with the ergonomics of the Wii U Pro Controller. So uh, if you were like me, you were one of the few people blessed with the Wii U and I was actually even one of the fewer blessed with a Wii U Pro Controller. Doesn't seem like a lot of people got these, but I really enjoy the controller. Uh, ergonomics are nice, everything's nice. Uh, it just fits in my hands. But there's a couple things with the functionality of it that I didn't quite like, and I'll get into that later. But essentially, if you're like me, you really enjoy the games, and now that I have money, I have a bit better of a PC, and I can actually run these games on emulation and have them uh, upscaled and look way better. Uh, so you can see I have Splatoon and Ultra Wide here. I've tried to make it as obvious as possible that this is uh, emulation and that I am not running this on hardware because I'm probably still going to get people who think I'm cheating and I'm just faking it or whatever. Uh, not from BitBuilt, but just in the comments general, uh, people who come across it. So I'll uh, turn it on here. You can just press the power button and it'll sync up. And you can see here uh, it works pretty much as a Wii U gamepad should. Uh, so it has motion controls, you can move around, reset the camera, go into the uh, single player campaign or whatever. But uh, if you didn't know about this controller, you might assume that there's not much different about it. Uh, if you think motion controls came on these controllers, congratulations, you outed yourself. Uh, these controllers did not have motion controls, and that was my main complaint with them. I really like the controller ergonomics, I like how it feels but uh, it did not have motion controls which made it extremely difficult to actually emulate Wii U games because the gamepad doesn't connect to a PC and the Pro Controller actually doesn't easily connect either. You have to use some obscure software and again it just acts as an Xbox controller because it doesn't even have uh, motion controls on it. So that was my goal with this project was primarily to add motion controls to this controller and make it easier to connect to a PC which I have achieved. Uh, it looks like a Wii U controller, it feels like a Wii U controller, all the buttons are fine, and I made slight improvements and improvements where they need to be, so you can actually see uh, it has USB-C now, which is much better than the micro USB it had, or not micro, mini USB, uh, which was not even really good at the time it released, uh, but anyway, has USB-C now, much easier to charge. Uh, pretty much looks the exact same, I tried to keep it as minimal as possible with the uh, actual look of the controller. I wanted it to look like a Wii U controller. So even the LEDs match. I have, you can charge the battery with the USB-C. I'll plug that in in a second. And uh, the battery state will actually be the same color. It's the orange that came with the Wii U. And uh, it'll charge that right up. Now, uh, what it did was it took a, uh, what I did to achieve this was I used what they call an 8-bit do, 8-bit do, correct me in the comments, I don't care, uh, light 2, which is just a tiny switch controller uh, that had gyro aim in it, and I took this all apart, reverse engineered it, and built a PCB for the Wii U Pro Controller. Uh, so essentially it has pretty much all the functionality of it. There's a couple things I lost with this, but uh, I'm trying to get those back, and if you see an extension at this end, the end of this video, it means I got it back. Uh, if you don't, um, I apparently just didn't care enough. Um, so the one thing, the main thing I lost was rumble on this. Uh, since this had a much larger rumble motor, uh, the 8-bit dough had something like a cell phone rumble motor or something in it. Uh, might have been a Switch rumble motor. I don't know about Switch hardware enough to know. But it didn't have the beefy rumble motor that this had, so it can't drive it without a uh, change to the circuitry, uh, which I haven't done yet. So there's no currently no rumble in this. Uh, the other thing I lost was the 8-bit Doe has uh, a D input mode, which I think is for Android. Uh, I'm never going to use that, so I just hardwire it here. Um, so it's just always in switch mode, and computers can recognize the switch uh, joystick or uh, controller type, so there's not really an issue with that. Uh, but if you apparently do Android emulation, uh, kind of sucks. Um, if I haven't mentioned it earlier, uh, in the comments, or not the comment. well, I might do it in the comments too. Uh, in the description of this video, there will be a link to the forum of me building it. I don't really have that many instructions because I'm not that great at building instructions when I build things. 
Uh, but I have the GitHub repo uh, down below, which is uh, where I actually host all the files for this. Uh, there's a few things to note with it. Uh, use the files at your risk. Um, I designed the files for me, not for anyone else. Uh, I'm releasing them out of goodwill, but uh, I'm not really here to help other people build it. And I'll provide some warnings too. Uh, I don't have, the schematics may not be entirely accurate. I didn't really care about the direction of transistors. If they're a PNP, NPN, whatever, I just put a transistor and map the footprint to that. Uh, so that might not match. Uh, and then I mostly tried to match the layout of this PCB into the actual controller. Uh, but there's a couple things that are just wrong. So you'd, you'd have to look into that on where they go. Uh, the other thing is uh, I had to recreate the antenna here. So there we go, it focused. You can see the antenna was on the board here. So I had to recreate that antenna. And I actually recreated it well enough that it connects to my PC. So that's all I really care about. Uh, but it probably is not uh, EMI certified and probably is not really a good idea to be using uh, in anywhere that actually doesn't want noise and everything everywhere. Um, so if you really are not sensitive to it, but if you have electronics that are sensitive to it, uh, don't use this project uh, or use that at your own risk, whatever. Uh, but yeah, it works wirelessly, works wired, uh, fantastic feel, I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna see if I can get Rumble working now. In the last clip, I said that I didn't have Rumble working yet on this controller, and I actually got that working now, so I figured I'd do a demo of it showing off. But first, I kinda wanted to talk about the issue I had with it and what the presumed cause was. So I wanted to use the original motor from the Wii U Pro Controller. Uh, I prefer just the DC rumble and the, the heavy rumble of the like the GameCube and Wii U Pro Controller, stuff like that. Uh, so I was trying to avoid using the 8 bit uh, motor rumble, but I think I found out the issue was that they use almost two different formats to uh, actually drive the rumble. So the Wii U controller would just be a straight DC signal that sends the rumble, while I believe the 8 bit dough uh, controller uses PWM to run the motor. Uh, now that's where my issue came in. Uh, I was trying to run the DC off the PWM, so I don't think it worked. Um, I don't know per se if this is PWM. This is like the gyro chip I had. I just assumed it was. Uh, I don't have the tools. I'm not rich enough to have like an oscilloscope to actually debug that. So anything I do just has to be an assumption. And uh, I assumed, it seems to be assumed right. Uh, but basically, I got the rumble working. It's more of like a cell phone rumble, uh, but it's better than nothing. So I figured I'd do Tears of the Kingdom and show it off. Uh, the Goron helper, I forget his name, Yunobo or whatever. Uh, he does some, he has at least decent rumble, so hopefully you can hear it shaking against the desk. There's, I don't really know any other way to demonstrate rumble capabilities. Uh, so once that happens, I'll shut up and hopefully you kind of hear the cell phone rumbling of this controller. So, uh, we'll start it. And hopefully you heard that. Uh, we can maybe do it once more just so you can hear it again. Yeah, so basically just a cell phone rumble, but it's pretty nice. And pretty much now the controller is complete. I don't really have any other issues with it. Gyro still works, even in Tears of the Kingdom. So I think I'm pretty much ready to finish this game now that I actually have a controller scheme that I want to use. Alright, so I figured I should do a demo of this, and uh, what better game than Metroid Prime Remastered? Uh, now I don't actually have a Switch handy on me right now to show it off, uh, but it does work with uh, PC emulation of Switch games. So I have Metroid Prime Remastered here. Again, you can see it is emulation because it's on ultra-wide. Uh, it has different aspect ratios, it's modded, so don't get angry at me, don't say I cheated or whatever, I'm telling you up front. But, you can see here I have the controller, and you can pretty much play the game as normal, uh, well as normal for this version. Uh, you can see some stuttering there, that's entirely just because my PC is not entirely up to snuff to run this. Uh, runs well when it's not loading, but every time you hit a door, uh, it starts to load the next section, so it'll hiccup a bit, but works fantastic, absolutely love it. Uh, this is a much better controller than the Switch Pro controller, at least in my opinion, 
And uh, yeah, I pretty much love this project. Uh, it was a fantastic project, simple to do, or at least simple in my mind. Um, but yeah, I, I've been absolutely loving it. Absolutely my favorite controller right now. And uh, I might do some more demos. Uh, if you see the next clip, that's why. Uh, but yeah. All right, so I figured I'd show the inside of the Pro Controller X just to give you a vibe for what the mod was like. Uh, so I have all the screws loose, but I'll show you right now. You can take the battery cover off, and it has the original Nintendo battery from the Wii U Pro Controller. Uh, it's pretty much just the one you can swap out, like all the DS batteries and 3DS batteries. Uh, this one you can see is 1300 milliamps, but the original 8-bit dough was 480 milliamps. So this should at least have double the battery life, if not more. Um, but you can see just normal battery holder looks pretty normal from the outside. Even the sync button works. I didn't actually show that earlier, but it's the original button. So you can press it and uh, you can take the back cover off. I have all the screws loose and the triggers out and you can see the actual Pro Controller X itself. You can see the logo I kind of copied from Xenoblade X and uh, all the daughter boards and how you have to connect them together. So I had to make three PCBs for this. I made the two joystick daughter boards and the main PCB itself. And then all the uh, components are actually under this battery component, battery holder here. And uh, the only thing I had to do was I messed up with the voltage plus and negative or ground on this joystick. Uh, so I had to swap those around and that's why this fly wire is here to still connect to the ground. But considering that's the only fly wire in this whole project, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and uh, couldn't really be happier so i have everything or mostly everything under this battery uh, component so it's easier to see uh, i mostly tried to copy the layout of the 8-bit dough controller as much as i could uh, i put the uh, mcu was always on the back but i angled it here so you could have the antenna uh, as that's one thing i had to design but um i mean even then i just copied the 8-bit dough controller but uh, on the 8-bit dough everything was on the front so you can see this whole cluster of stuff here and the rumble was all on the front and then the uh, controller was on the back with the antenna. So I just pretty much scanned that antenna and copied it as closely as I could. Uh, so you can kind of see there. But uh, the only thing I copied, I guess I copied exactly, was uh, this little area here on the PCB. Uh, I'll show you on my PCB that I designed. I had to keep that on the top because that's the gyro chip. If you put that on the back, it'll uh, mess up with your controls. So I have the actual PCB itself here. Uh, so I have to buy five. You can see I fit the little gyro chip in between the button pads. Uh, tried to keep it as close to the original location on the 8 bit dough as I could so it would be more accurate. But pretty much copied the pads too. So the uh, gold contact pads and even the clicky pads here are pretty much the same as the Wii U controller. This one's a bit dirty just because I haven't cleaned it yet. But um, yeah, pretty much as close as I could copying them. You have to do a bit of modification with the uh, battery tray here to hold. This has to be modified so it can actually, uh, if, you can, if it would focus there. Yeah, there we go. You have to move that out of the way just so it fits over top of the MCU. And a couple other things, like I think that needs to go over a capacitor or something like that. Uh, but basically, folds right back in place and hits all the posts. Uh, this little daughter board gets in the way sometimes, but does that. And then the rumble that I added now is just that little motor down there. And the battery tray holds one side of it, and the other side is held with a rubber... Um, I mean, it's rubber like this. It, it holds it nice in place. So it's not a bad location. It gives you decent rumble on that. And then I just kept the rumble in this place so it kind of had the same weight and feel of a original Wii U Pro Controller. But essentially, that's Pro Controller X. Uh, it's a pretty fantastic project. I enjoyed it. Um, I can't really... It's my perfect controller now. I don't, I don't think I'm really going to be using any other controller. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, good luck to all the other contestants.